Hey guys, Dorf Raven 2012 here, playing some Resident Evil 6 for the Xbox 360 console. And I decided to either do Agent Hunter mode today or some Mercenaries, just because I want to upload some gameplay footage of those two game type modes. And I really want to do a co-op let's play on Resident Evil 6 as well, but so far only four or five people in my friends list have a game, and they either have already a co-op partner they want to play for the game with, or they're not really interested in co-op whatsoever. I actually have uh, two guys I'm going to return their copy because they're really disgusted with Resident Evil 6. And I agree with some of the things they said, like, I'm disgusted with the low textures in the game. They're really noticeable. Capcom's even not trying to hide it. There's a lot of textures that are really muddy. It just looks overall terrible. It's definitely a downgrade from the graphics department compared to Resident Evil 5. The camera angle is way too zoomed into your character, so you can't really see all your surroundings that well. Which, I know Capcom try to do that because they want to make it feel more like you're in control of your character and tighten the camera angle so it's a little bit more scary that way. But honestly, what it does is it just annoys the fuck out of you, especially if you're going into cover because the cover sometimes can't tell if you want to look on the left side or right side. So it jumps the camera back and forth or zooms in extremely close or whatever. So, <clears throat> that's kind of annoying. And what else is annoying? Oh, and of course, Capcom did say they approved the uh, team AI or whatever your co-op partner AI, which isn't true whatsoever. They still are retarded as they were in Resident Evil 5. The only difference is that your co-op partner won't shoot you in the back like Sheva did in Resident Evil 5. So alright, they did a small improvement, but not too much. <clears throat> what else was wrong with the game? Oh. Uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it for it. I mean, they did fix the screen tearing, so that's a bless, but I really need to fix the textures by either releasing a patch that sharpens the textures or something like that, or maybe it's a problem with the game where the textures aren't loading up properly. Maybe they can fix that with a patch like they did with Skyrim. Or maybe they'll release a, D a DLC pack to increase the textures, kind of like what Battlefield did, though Battlefield already had it on the disc. I mean, if they did that, the game would be already a lot better than what it is right now. So far I've beaten for the Chris campaign. I haven't touched the other ones yet. And alright, let's jump right into this. Uh, extra content. Alright, as you guys can tell, Agent Hunter mode lets you play as a creature. So if other players have like Agent mode uh, enabled for their campaign, you can take over one of the creatures and prevent them from beating it. But to be able to take control of a creature, you actually have to play throughout the campaign once with either of the camp uh, campaign settings, either the young Chris or Jake, which I already did, so that's why I got it unlocked. And then Mercenaries, you get unlocked right off the bat. Uh, Agent, Alright, let's see if Agent Hunt's available there. Not too many people activated because, honestly, they don't want to get game banged while playing throughout the campaign, which I can't blame them. I had mine turned off when I was playing for the Chris campaign. But then again, the AI, enemy AI were pretty annoying. They were really tough to play against. Especially since if you shoot them in the head, it's not a one-shot kill anymore. Oh. Connected to Yeti A-bomb. Awaiting reply from Yeti a bomb. Well, that's interesting. So they can pick out who uh, they want to join in. Well, that's kind of annoying. I'm not sure how many people could actually jump in this game type. Like how many actual players could tr can control the zombies while they're doing the single player there. Well, I could imagine people will use this game type mode to boost their uh, achievements or whatever, like play it on professional, have their friends control the creatures, and just get out of their way. Okay, are you ever going to connect? Joining players' games as a creature. 
Yeah, that's good. Sometimes you actually get stuck playing as an actual game character if the person's playing by himself or something else. Alpha to HQ. We got a visual oh, nice. We're in uh, what, this why is why you want to transform. And it looks like I'm playing a butt part. Oh fuck. Damn it. Oh come on, I was aiming in that guy's direction. Not gonna lie. That sucks, you had couldn't do anything anymore. Like the moment Chris starts whacking on you, you're just you can't do shit. You might as well just lay the controller down right now. That's what I realized. <clears throat> All right, can't say I like that too much. That's really unfair. Really? I couldn't hit him? Well, oh, I can honestly say I don't like this already. You can't even run away. What's the point of me playing a close uh, quarters character there if the moment fucking douchebag starts mailing my ass, I can't do shit? And I think, uh,. Jake here's not yeah, Jake's not even being played by real players since he's not being marked, so if you attack Jake, it's really pointless and see AI players can't die. Yes, suck it, Chris. And I just killed Chris. Nice. Unsuccessful. But that player's not too happy about that. Well, guys, uh, that's basically uh, Resident Evil 6 Agent Hunt mode. Like, uh, like I said, you play as a creature, sometimes you play something else, or whatever, depending on uh, where, what kind of point the character uh, or the person that's playing the cam uh, campaign is right at. So it's a interesting game type, a little a bit unbalanced if you're playing as the creatures because they're really slow, their moves are delayed and all that. Which I guess they did that so the actual people that play for the campaign have a chance of actually beating it. <sighs> Alright, if I find another match real fast, I'll do this and still keep recording. If not, well I'll just stop there. I'll give us like 15 seconds. I'm just get my phone out. Alright, couldn't find a match. Well, that's it for uh, this. I'll probably do some more gameplay recording when my friends hop online and all that. So, until next time, peace.